Demasiado. You know what's about to happen. Peace, everybody. My name is Rashida Phillips. Uh, I am the creator of the Afro Futurist Affair as well as an author here in Philadelphia. I am beyond ecstatic and honored to be opening for uh, King Bird's uh, project. And I have more mother goddess behind me doing soundscapes. We're gonna read some pieces for you tonight. Um, but this is more than a reading, it's an experiment, it's an exercise, it is a portal opening. I want to ask you to step in with me full body uh, and give yourself to me for this next half hour. Where 
matter and antimatter merge to create new realities. It is the place where positive and negative collide to destroy matter and recreate new. It is the home of the creational forces, those who bend and shape realities through sound, light, and color, closing and opening rifts in time, movement through space-time. Now, you are almost ready to go back into the world creator. But first, you must visit the electromagnetic field to choose your next experience. You walk down to the field, which appears infinitely vast. Situated in what seems to be the field center is a large circle with seven computer terminals mounted around its ring. In the center of the ring sits a golden chair with living vines crawling on its arms, star suns beset in its back. As you take a seat in the chair, the screens at the terminals around the circle blink on simultaneously. The screens project 3D holographic images of dodecahedrons, cubes, pyramids, various pieces of copper, and planetary spheres. The objects appear to be dancing atop the screen as they contort and flex into different shapes. A soft, spectral, feminine voice speaks out, dimensionless, and heard from every direction. Welcome to the formation field at Zero Point Creator. You do not need to speak aloud or touch the screens. The electric magnetic field and the prom omniscient bio computer terminals pick up directly on your waves as you signal them. Although you appear to have a physical body in the field, please remember that the appearance is only a holographic image brought about by special conditions of the field and light reflection off of the bio computers. You only need to think in order to communicate with anything around you, so there's no need to touch anything. You will need to choose your alignments and coordinates carefully for your next experience. Some factors to consider are, what lessons would you like to learn during your next experience, and what do you hope to accomplish? A large monitor opens up into a window that looks out into the physical 3D universe. Using the control panels located beneath each terminal, you can switch the view of the monitor to see a different part of the universe from all possible angles or close up on a particular celestial object. You adjust the screen's focal point to the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way comes into view, and you continue to zoom in until you reach the solar system that contains the cluster of nine planets that revolve around the star sun. This particular cosmos is intertwined with the human experience. The nine planets, their moons, meteors, and other celestial bodies are sprinkled about the monitor, orbiting elliptically from their respective positions around the solar nucleus. The sun is burned regally, fusing its elements together to emit waves of heat and gas that transform into a glowing, flashing reddish orange ball on the monitor. The voice floods the circle again. You have chosen to return to planet Earth as the arena for your next experience. The grid for Earth consists of three dimensions, time, space, and depth, mapped upon an electromagnetic field. The grid is under the influence of gravity, relativism, and self-consistency. In the grid, you will be conditioned by those rules, although not bound to them. It is incumbent upon you to discover your own abilities and limitations during your journey in accordance with the life patterns you create for yourself. You begin entering data into the control panel, charting out planetary visions and positions for your next experience. The large monitor begins to move and steer the planets into positions based upon the information that you provide. The sun moves and you set the time and coordinates of your rebirth down to the very moment. Each time slice fits together piece by piece, forming a concentric circle at their convergent point. You sketch for nearly an infinity. Now, you must create a framework of life events creator. Map the events on the space line that is parallel to the timeline of the Earth. Remember, you are the architect of your life experiences. There are options for your re-entry into the human experience first creator. Please signal if you would like more detailed information on each option. Every sound is produced by a vibration.
appear to be both their own events and own causes. Sounds aren't heard traveling through the air in waves, just as light isn't seen traveling through the air in waves. What we see when we see it appears to us as a smooth whole, not delivered to us both time by phone time or wave by wave. Light has a limiting speed, but that speed is universal. Because nothing can exceed the speed of light, light itself exists outside of any notion of speed, becoming the backdrop against which any speed in a knowable universe is measured. It then becomes a universal constant and defines its own speed. It is a circular definition, self-confirming and self-referencing. It is always non-local. Do we ever see light moving? Or is it always here as soon as we blink? Experiences. One of the essential qualities of BQF allows for future 
visioning, altering, and manifestation is virtual causality. The creative future is activated by a deep throughout perspective, automatically reach back to redefine the present and the past. Black Palm Futurists explore the fact that the future can alter the present and the present can alter the past. When a possible future is envisioned, foreseen, or chosen by a deep throughout creative, that future will instantaneously reshape its relationship to the past. In quantum physics, this also corresponds to the principle of quantum entanglement. read something from it earlier. It's a collection of short stories um, that are all interconnected and intertwined. There's some choose your own adventure stories in there. There's um, lots of fun stuff, um, but the stories basically revolve around time travel and using that as a vehicle for memory, healing, um, past trauma, looking into the future. Um, so yeah, more Mother Goddess wrote a soundtrack to it, uh, which is available on SoundCloud. Um, and there's a zine that goes to this and lots of other fun stuff. So I'm just going to read one of the stories from it and then I'll get out to the <laughs> While she's getting the music up for it. Um, I would also like to uh, thank my crew members at the Polarity, my um, audience for coming out, uh, yes. uh, Maggie 18, yeah. Allison, also sci-fi writers here in Philadelphia. We're part of a collective called Metro Polarity. We do events, uh, we do a zine. Um, yeah, we're, we're awesome. So <laughs> check us out. And, um, What's up? Also check out Afrofuturist Affair online. Um, just Google us. We're, we're, we try to be everywhere we can be. Uh, but we also have do events here in Philadelphia. We do an annual charity costume ball um, that benefits people in the community who are going through hard times and just need a little bit of assistance to get through. Um, also, I would love for you to check out and support my mother goddess who um, has been making music here in Philadelphia for the past 10 years. She does a monthly event called Rockers, which showcases uh, punk rock bands from across the country doing, you know, just punk rock bands that usually don't get on and don't get to get on the stage because they are not the right color or the right gender. So um, she provides that opportunity as well as does solo work. All of the beats you are hearing were produced by her. So. Yeah.